Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today the Apostle tells us all things are lawful to us, but do not come under the power of any of them. Then let me shock you and tell you not to come under the power of religion either, because sometimes religion is the death of faith. Sometimes we become so occupied in our religion that we become legalist, we become self-righteous, we become arrogant, we become, we are right and everyone else is wrong. Not religion, but a living faith in the living Lord Jesus Christ. Today we heard the parable of the merciful father. We call it the parable of the prodigal son, but it really is about the father. Today our Lord Jesus Christ reveals to us the nature of God. That no matter how far away we go, no matter what kind of depravity or wickedness we fall into, When the prodigal son went down the road, his, father for, his father's forgiveness followed him the day he left. It did not begin the day he came back, but the day he left. And see how the father was standing at the head of the road every day looking for the son to come back. Is this the God that religion tells us we're supposed to fear? As if he were a heavenly terrorist? Or simply that we were to fear in awe of the grandeur of his love. The prodigal son didn't really believe. He never understood what his relationship with his father was until he completely thought that he had lost it. In his own heart he had lost it, but never in the Father's heart had he lost it. And did he fear when he turned around and looked back toward the Father's house and started back to the Father's house? But suddenly he realized the mercy of his Father. He knew he was not worthy to be his son, but that his Father would accept him as a servant or a slave, but that his father would receive him. While he saw him, while he was a long way off, and rejoiced, and he fetched a robe. And what was the robe that he put upon his son? But the robe of righteousness through Jesus Christ. The robe of Jesus Christ has fulfilled all righteousness for us because we are not righteous, no, not one. And he took him into the light of the Father's house and they rejoiced because all the host of heaven, all the angels, all the saints rejoice for one sinner who returns. But the elder son was very religious. He kept the law. He kept every commandment of his father. He was obedient in every way to his father. Mentally. But his heart was never transformed and his heart never understood. He was religious but not faithful. He had religion but he did not have faith. He understood from the fullness of his own heart. And we, brothers and sisters, understand God from the fullness of our own hearts. The way we understand our Father God 
shows us the condition of our own hearts and our own souls. If we long to see the wicked punished, the ones who don't agree with us punished, the ones who are outside of the body of Christ, the Orthodox Church, if we long to see them perish and punished, we have religion but we do not have faith. Every scripture that tells us it is telling us something about God must bow humbly before the living word, Jesus Christ, who appeared and who revealed God to us. Every idea we had about God was false. It was a simulacrum until our Lord Jesus Christ came and open to us the understanding of the true and living God, understood suddenly that we're talking about Abba, that we're talking about Tata, that we're not talking about some heavenly powerful terrorist, some king, some emperor, some autocrat. We're talking about the one whose very nature is love. Love is greater than law, brothers and sisters. We are not children of the law, but children of the promise. And the promise was given through grace, and we are children of grace. Be careful that we do not allow ourselves to come under the power of religion to the degree that we will we can no longer have faith. See how sometimes religion makes people hard, how sometimes it makes them cold, how sometimes it makes them full of judgment, how sometimes it gives self-righteousness, arrogance, superiority. But that is not a living faith in the living God. That is not a living faith in our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who said, Brothers and sisters, love one another as I've loved you. You'll know that, everyone will know that you're my followers if you have love among yourselves. Today is the parable of the merciful and compassionate Father. He is the center of the story. He is the one that the parable is actually about. Because all of us can be a prodigal children, but there's one God and one Father who is ready with a robe and a ring for us to turn to Him and come back. Who is ready for all of heaven to rejoice and make merry for one sinner who returns and repents. Woe to the one who is so righteous that he cannot repent. Woe to the one who is so righteous that he cannot forgive. The other son, the righteous one, stayed in the outer darkness, never entered into the light and the joy of the Father's house. But the sinful son, the one who is in depravity, the one who spent all his living on prostitutes and riotous living, he entered into the light and the joy of the Father's house. As the prophet David says, thy mercy will pursue me all the days of my life. Pursue me, brothers and sisters, hoping to trip me and catch me. To be caught up in the mercy of God. Today, brothers and sisters, let us re rejoice in our Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoice in Abba, our Father. And rejoice that today Christ has revealed the true nature of God to us. The Father who stands at the head of the road watching every day, watching for us to come back. And when he sees us, has no thought of punishment, has no thought of any kind of getting even. He never says, I'll punish you, I'll beat you, and then I'll receive you back. He simply puts a robe and a ring on his son. God does not desire our punishment, but our healing. And how should we desire 
the punishment of a brother or sister instead of their healing. The church is a spiritual hospital. It is not a court of law. Religion may be a court of law. Faith is a spiritual hospital. Brothers and sisters, let us have the orthodox faith, not the orthodox religion. And let us glorify our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and God the Father, our Abba, who has also put a robe of love, a robe of grace, a robe of compassion upon all of us, that we should also learn to live a life of compassion. Amen. Amen. Amen.